Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make leather. So first you need to design and draw everything in a clear way. You don't want uh, many lines when you are dealing with marker. So you just draw it in a neat way and then you get rid of the excess of the pencil and then you start. You have to do everything piece by piece. Like You have to note that whatever you draw like this is going to be obvious at the end. You can use the other part which is going to be easier in this way. So we need to blend it well. That's why we have to be very quick. Then I'm going to do this part. You may be thinking that the lines are going to be erased, but anyhow, you are going to be able to see that line at the end. Because you need to be fast, I really advise to use this tip. After that, Power big areas are really not very easy with marker technique. That's why I think it will be a good idea to divide and conquer. Then. And by rolling the pencil in your hand, in your hand, you can make different width of the line. So, although you are using a white tip, as you can see, you can just use it in a very thin way. Here you have to be careful. You don't want to mess up. Because it is man-made, I really need to be sure about it. Marker is a very transparent type of paint. That's why you need to be extra careful about the lines and about the layers you are playing with. If you try to do everything in the same manner without shaping them believe me at the end they are going to look completely flat and two-dimensional but when you do it like that first of all you are making a practice and then you also can see that all the lines that is emerging are able to be seen now Then we have to wait until it dries. Now 
maybe the legs are in wood so here now I'm using a raw sienna because I just wanted to have a strong contrast be careful they need to have the same size so be very careful when you are dealing with very small details then when I want to have a shadow I can make it like a second layer then I'm going to have a very soft shadow because this object is top this object is on the bottom I will make it third layer after the third layer it doesn't work too much after that now you have an object and still you need to work some details like these and these you need to adjust them so I'm just thinking about once again about the objects shape now it's everything is very much for a very shiny leather you can do two tricks either you have to leave some whiteness of the paper or you can do by different tools okay. if you just make with some soft um, soft pastel stuff like this and maybe you just squeeze it On the same line I'm doing it or if you want to have a soft shadow if there is no light there is no darkness your eye cannot understand the values so both of them are needed you can use the soft pastel without uh, without putting like blending or you can keep the blending so if I blend it's going to look more like velvety if otherwise it's going to look more like leather On the same line you have to go at you can also use some other tools like this is Dervan's pastel series. This is Dervan's color soft series. This is covering. This is having little uh, like. Okay, let me show. This has a precision, but still, yeah, you can make it. Now it looks more velvety. You see. So you can sometimes, if you blend it too much, you can find yourself changing the texture very fast and easily. If you keep the dramatic, let's say, um, contrast, 
then it's going to look more like a leather and you have to check about the drapes of it drapes of the furniture here now it looks more three-dimensional this one is working more differently the value is more differently but still it is very visible and then you can make something like a dramatic light and you can also like maybe if there is shadow dimensions will be much better looking you can blend And as you can realize, when you are able to do some shadowing, shadowing, whatever you want to have, maybe I especially want some lines here to show more like that. Because this is wood and I just want to imitate the lines a little bit. So now it looks much more like a three-dimensional piece. Now I'm turning into more dramatic. On top of marker I'm placing some darkness with the pasta. It's very fun about pastas. I really like to play with them. Then there is something in front, always put some extra darkness to the back. I think it's done. 